had a lot of <laughs> Fuck. Worst. <laughs> Bust the ribs and hiccups. Oh, oh my god. It was so painful. Whatever you do with an injury like that, they always hurt. Yeah. Are you going to try and make it out there for round three? No, I can't. No. I tried to surf yesterday. I couldn't even Not get to my happen. feet. It's embarrassing. I like people were asking for autographs on the beach and shit, and then I went out and couldn't get to my feet. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. So, um, just on this year, so you've been obviously been you know, out of the limelight a little bit more. Have you been watching the tour from home? Do you sit on the couch and watch it when it's on? Yeah, I, I like watching it on the way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I actually haven't really been home for, well, the beginning of the year when I was like couch on the couch. Yeah. With, uh, um, after the knee surgery, I was definitely watching. Yeah. But then, uh, yeah, I've been trying to like travel during the events so that I don't sit at home and like mope. <laughs> <laughs> So you're actually keen to get back and into it? Uh, yeah, I was pretty excited to surf this event until I hurt my ribs. Yeah. And then it was hard to tell when I first did it if it was going to be one of those things that was like a couple days or like a month. And yeah. It's funny things, but a month thing. Because <laughs> I've, I've bruised my ribs before and it took a month. Yeah, it's a tough injury. It's irritating. It seems like um, you've been putting a lot of energy into your, your website, Marine, Marine Lane. It seems like you're really passionate about putting that, like putting good clips together. Is that something you're right into? Yeah, I just... Um, yeah, I mean, most of the time when other people do videos on me, I don't really feel like it represents me very well, so I kind of just took that in my own hands. So you like having the creative control? Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know. I just like indirect, vague things. <laughs> yep. I hate when things are too direct, so yeah. Um, I guess maybe I've learned that through doing, <laughs> through doing it, you know, but um, yeah, I don't so like the directness of most... Um, Ways I'm options. represented. <laughs> yeah. So you have a bit of a hands-on role. You and who does it with you? Sorry. It's, uh, um, Minnie, my friend from home, that's been filming since like before I was alive. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he used to he's like used to make bodyboard videos and stuff in Ventura, yeah. and then uh, and then when I was just starting to learn how to surf or whatever, he was filming like Malloy's or Veers. He did lots of lost stuff. Yeah. And then. Uh, and Dustin Miller is from the East Coast, and he's been doing some other projects with us that um, we're working more closely with Quicksilver to kind of make sure that I'm represented in a fashion that <laughs> I'm stoked on. Yeah. And Dustin Miller has been doing stuff for us there. Mm -hmm. So you guys sit at home and just go, wouldn't it be cool to go and do this sometimes? Uh, um, no, we haven't really done that, but yeah. I don't know. Um, Excited to be more involved in it though, and maybe that we can do that in the future. Yeah. Yeah. Production side of things. Yeah. And do you think, like having been off tour now, do you think your surfing it progresses more on tour or, or off tour? Or is it sometimes? I mean, this is the idea when you're on tour, you're around all these good surfers who kind of push you a bit, but yeah. When you're in isolation, you sort of can do what you want. Well, I don't know. It's just kind of interesting. Is I just did a surf trip with um, John John and um, Kolohe and Connor. Done actually two different two, two separate surf trips, but. Um, surfing with them is really inspiring. Yeah. Um, I'd say that there's benefits to to both as far as your surfing goes. Yep. And finding a balance is maybe a good way to progress. But it's easy to get stuck in sort of a really safe, like, as long as you make a couple heats at each event or whatever, you feel good about your surfing. Yeah. It's easy to get stuck in that sort of rut, and I kind of did the last two years. And maybe with a new perspective, I could do the tour differently, but um, I'm just really excited about progressing and learning and being. So uh, the two surf trips with John, John, or the surf trips with the kids, because I feel like when guys are 19 or something, they're like at their peak of, I think maybe surf, they, you get better, but it's, you like slowly like take all the phrase down into this neat little package yeah you know and it's really so they're in like that progress full progression yeah progression. like it's like every, like i don't know it's cool surfing with them the energy is good yeah, yeah it's inspiring and you can you can get good to a point then you're gonna plateau a little bit and then to get go up again is harder yeah well i don't know i, I wouldn't say that they're at their best but there's just something like raw and fresh about when yeah. you're 19 rather than as soon as you could get in the competitive format everything kind of gets bundled into a neat package you can present in a half an hour <laughs> Times, yeah. you know, so. Exactly. So, um, how does it feel to be like the darling of the surf media, I guess, is it, if you, if you're familiar with that phrase, like, is it kind of, I mean, is it a difficult thing sometimes? Even though you're not on tour, you're still like, kind of, that's the way it's gone. Um, well, yeah, I'm not really 
I don't, I don't really sit at home and think about. <laughs> no, but do you ever feel like you get represented as something beyond that which, which, uh, which you are? Um, I don't really know. I mean, I just did an interview for Surfing Magazine. I was talking a lot about how, um, a lot of the time, everybody I feel like is represented poorly. Right. Like, I was talking about this guy Tyler Warren. Do you know of him? Yeah. And I, and how. I had seen him in advertisements and read an interview on him and stuff like that, and I kind of thought he was, seemed phony in that. And then I met him, and he's like real and pretty rad. And like, yeah. I feel like a lot of time I'll see myself um, represented in more magazine style, I guess, or anything where people don't maybe like over <laughs> push push the certain elements of your character yeah yeah, like, yeah and I, sometimes it looks pretty phony you know like Dan's wow. writing all these he's got this library of books yeah exactly yeah that's, per, that's a good example yeah stuff, you know? yeah